Welcome back everybody, uh, I'm out in my garage again. I actually am going to be unboxing a new tool that I got. Actually it was one that Amazon recommended to me. I was just surfing through Amazon for some stuff building in my basement and this got recommended for me and I decided to pick it up. So today's gonna be a video about unboxing it and then checking it out and giving it a quick review. Let's take a look. This is it. It's a Nico rechargeable underhood light. We'll see how it works out. It's got a pretty large battery, so it should, in theory, last for quite a bit of time. It's got two different bright, uh, two different modes. Oh, it says it right here on there. Two different modes, high and low. One's 1,200 lumens, low is 600 lumens. Charging time takes about four and a half hours, which to me seems ridiculous in this day and age. However, you charge it up overnight, I guess, and you'll be good to go the next day. So. Runtime at the bright mode is three hours, and runtime at low mode is six hours. That's pretty good. Let's see what's inside the box here. Ooh, almost dropped it. All right, let's see what we got here. What's in the box then? Some instructions, magnetic holders. Do not use or charge the light when the temperature is over 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. So inside the box, you get uh, a number of these clips. As a matter of fact, you get two sets of these kinds of clips. And you get a set of these magnetic style clips, which you can, which I'm assuming you can just clip onto the underneath the side of your hood or bonnet, depending on what part of the world you're in. And uh, then you can just put the light bar directly inside of this. If you can see up close, I don't know how good that's going to focus or not, but you can actually take this guy and slide it inside of here, like that. And then on the other end, do the same thing. Slide that down in there. These connect to the underside of the hood or bonnet. And then you can actually, as the hood gets opened and closed, you can then um, rotate the light in here. That way if the hood is open, then the, the light could still be pointing straight down instead of off to the side. So that's, that's kind of handy. All right, so I got a light bar sitting on my toolbox, plugged in, plugged in. just a regular 12 volt plug, 110. It's got a little LED indicator to let you know when it's Charged, turns green when it's done. I'll let it charge up here for a little bit and then we'll give it a test and see how it looks. All right, I'm back out here in the garage. I decided to wait till it was nighttime to try and do this test because I think it'll actually show it a lot better overall uh, what it looks like having the um, under hood light bar turned on. Um, I got all of the LED lights that I installed. I got everything turned off in here. This garage door light is on a motion sensor, so if it sees me walking around, it just turns on. But there's that's basically no light at all. It's very dark. All right, so this is under the hood of the BMW. Let me turn the lights on in the garage. There you go. It's like almost daylight when you turn these things on. It makes a huge difference in here of how much brighter it is with those lights on. Anyway, you can see I've got the uh, under hood light bar is already installed ready to go i'm going to turn the lights back off and then turn this thing on so you can see actually 
how good of a lighting it gives you. All right, so lights are back off now. Reaching up here for the underhood light. There's two positions. There's a light and a there's a, a low and a and a high. So you can see with it on and off and on. So this one is the low setting. That's the high setting. And off. You can just see how much how much actual light it throws out. So yeah, this thing is is definitely worth picking up if you don't have one. Um, you can see all the way down, all the areas that are really dark normally. It gives you plenty of light to look down in there. So this is what it looks like with the light on, the underhood light, and then when I turn on the interior lights too. So this is gonna make for being able to do work in here over the winter very easy. Anyway, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, the light that I bought, I bought it off of Amazon. I am not an Amazon affiliate and I don't earn any commissions off this stuff. I'm just recommending to you guys the stuff that I use that I happen to think is worth looking into. And uh, anyway, all right, see you next time.